position vectors. You will find this on page 591 in the Namibia Ordinary Level Mathematics Textbook Y equals MX plus C to success. Position vectors. A vector that starts from the origin is called a position vector. As shown in the diagram, OA, OB, OC and OD are the position vectors of the points A, B, C, D respectively. We usually denote OA by A, OB by B, OC by C and OD by D. So OA, OB, OC, OD. So writing displacement vectors in terms of position vectors. Displacement vectors in terms of position vectors. The displacement vector AB may be written in terms of the position vector. Now OA and OB. Now let's first look on the diagram and then we will see how to do it in terms of algebra. So if this is AB, okay, this is from A to B. So also start at A and end at B, but taken a different route. So it will be AO plus OB. So to write AB will be AO plus OB. So AB is AO plus OB. Now OB is a position vector because it starts with O, but AO is not a position vector because, because it starts with A. But I can make it a position vector by changing the direction. Can you see? So, and if I change direction, I must remember to put the negative. Do you see that negative? So it's negative OA plus OB. Okay, so now if I just reverse that too, actually it's going to be OB minus OA. Okay, and now I want you to take note of the following. There was AB. So it was the second alphabet letter, OB, make that a position vector, and subtract the first alphabet letter. So if I can give you another one, say for example it was BC. I'll just change the color. So what will that be? Take the second alphabet letter, so it will be OC minus OB. So always the second one minus the first one, and in terms of position vectors. Okay, so the second point, position vector minus the first point. Then we go on. Um, just look, look at the example, example 27. Given that this is the points, write down the position vectors of A and B. So OA as column vectors, it will just be 3, 2, that's the horizontal, that's the vertical. OB will just be 1 and 4. And then write AB as a column vector. So AB, don't forget, first in terms of position vectors, so OB minus OA. And then there is OB, there is OA, and 1 minus 3 is negative 2, and 4 minus 2 is 2. And that's the answer. Okay, I want you to stop the video and do try now 27 number 2. You can continue the video as soon as you are finished. Okay, let's stop. Given the points P, Q and R, write down the position vectors of the points P, Q as column vectors. Okay, so let's start. That's number 2 and that's number A. So if I look at this one, it's going to be, so for example, um, the first one will be O, P. So it will just be 2 and 2. Okay, can I maybe just write here for you? Because the P was the coordinate point, 2, 2. Q, the coordinate point was 4, 7. And R, the coordinate point was 8 and 1. Okay, so that was OP. Then it will be OQ. So it's 4 and 7. And then it's OR, 
and it's 8 and 1. Okay, and then express the following as column vectors. So if I say, this is now number B, the first one. Okay, let's first write it down, R cubed. Now, always first write it in terms of position vectors. That means O cubed, always the second one, minus the first one. That's how it works. And now you can do the substitution. O cubed, there it was, 4 and 7. And O R, there it is, 8 and 1. And then 4 minus 8, that will be negative 4. And 7 minus 1, that will be 6. And that will be my final answer. Okay. And then the next one, the second one, um, I think I'm going to make space. Otherwise, I will draw. I'll, I'll see if I can fit it in here. Okay. So the next one, what will that be? This is the second one. And that will be P, Q. So it will be O, Q minus O, P. So O, Q will be 4, 7. And O, P will be 2, 2. And if I subtract that, I will get 4 minus, so it's 2. 7 minus 2, it's 5. And the answer will be 2 and 5. And then the last one, okay, and that will be P or. Mm, mistake. Let's just go front again. I wanted to take this one. So this will be P, let's just do that. This will be P or. And first in terms of position vectors, so it's OR minus OP. So OR minus OP. And that final answer, let's just move this a bit down. 8 minus 2 is 6. And 1 minus is negative 1. And that will be my final answer. Okay. Let's look at another example. We move it up a little bit. P is the point this and PK is this. Find the coordinates of K. Okay, now they, you can write this as a position vector, but this is a displacement vector. So if I look at the two, so the position vector of P, it's going to be OP, and it's going to be 2. Okay, but first write this displacement vector as a position vector. So the second one, OK minus OP. And now you can see, okay, what do I have? I have OP, do you see? I have OP, and I have PK. But I'm looking for OK. So just play around with it with algebra. So make this one the subject of the formula and take that one over. And then just, there it is, there it is, just do that addition and then OK will be this. So if I then write the coordinate, it will be 6 and negative 4. OK. I want again for you to stop the video. Do not, do try now 28 number 1. You can continue the video as soon as you are finished. Okay, let's start. Number one. P is the point. Okay, so let's write P down. Negative one and three. Or I can say P, P, um, let me rather write it better. I can say OP equals negative 1 and 3. That's the position vector of P. Okay, and then I have PM. What is PM? PM is going to be negative 2 and negative 5. And then PN, last one. Mm, the space is not enough there. 
let's draw the side there. Pn is going to be 0 and 7. Okay, then find M and N. So if I start with this one, the first one there, let's look at the first one. Okay, so if I start with the first one, I'm just going to say, okay, what color will I use? White. Okay, so let's M. So let's make PM, let's first write it down. PM. And that's going to be O M minus O B. So if I'm going to find M, so, so I'm going to keep this one here. So I'm going to say O M, and that's going to be P M. Plus, because remember to cancel on that side, it's plus OP. So on this side also plus OP. Or if you take it over, it becomes a positive. Any way around. Okay. So, other spin. It's now again giving problems. Okay, so PM, what is PM? We have PM, that's going to be that negative 2 and negative 5. And it's going to be plus OP is going to be negative 1 and 3. I'm really struggling with this pen now, okay? So in this case, it's going to be, is it, um, let's just see if it's negative. Yes, it's a negative. So negative 2, negative 3, that is going to be negative 3. And that is going to be negative 2. Okay, so therefore, if I'm going to find the coordinates of M, so therefore, I'm just going to move up then, M is going to be negative 3, great that negative 3 and negative 2. I think negative 2. That's the coordinates of M. Okay. Now I must find the coordinates of N. Okay, I must clean, so maybe my space will be better to write then. Okay, let's do exactly the same, but now we do it with N. So if you look at this one, so let's look at this one. Oh, let's just clean. Okay, let's look at that one. Oh, what color? I think we keep to white. So in this case, if I'm going to look at N, I'm going to again say to find P N, it's going to be, okay, let's just see. Okay. To find Pn, it's going to be, in terms of position vectors, On minus Op. And that's going to give me an answer of, okay, now I'm just going to rearrange. Let's see what do I have. This was, uh, let me just see, negative one, this was Op. So if I look at this one, if I look at this one, then this one is going to give me, so O in, to find O in, it's going to be P in,
plus LP. I'm really struggling with this pain now, but I want to complete this video. Okay, so this is a positive. So PN, what is PN? It's 0 and 7. Plus, what is OP? We have that. Negative 1 and 3. Okay, so zero, so the final answer here, so will be negative one, and that will be ten. So in this case, if I look at negative one, so I'm going to say therefore, n will be negative one and ten. That will be, oh, this pain my coordinate point. So, n was negative 1 and 10, and that's the way you do it.